never seen a store like this that's gonna take that shopping experience to the next level, make sure you tune in to Barber Pub TV. I didn't think you would come here. Well, I'm here, uh -huh. shopping. I'm talking about the vibration right now that's in this hand. We're already breaking the bank a little much. Little. Yeah, but you don't, don't. Okay, yeah. get your R&B okay. on, baby. Welcome back to another episode of Clipper Shopping at the Barber Plug. I'm your host, The Barber Brooks, and today we are back at our flagship store in the heart of Dallas, Texas. Today we're welcoming a super special guest all the way from the windy city of Chicago. He's an ambassador for some of the biggest brands in the beauty industry. He's known as the GOAT, and his name is Los Cutty. What's going on, man? How you doing today, man? How you feeling? Chilling, man. You know, out here in Dallas, kicking it from Chicago. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, if I'm not mistaken, you've been to Dallas quite a few times. A bunch of times, yeah. Family lives out there. Family lives out here. Were you born and raised here, or born and raised in Chicago? Born and raised in Chicago, but I move around a lot. But Chicago would always be home. Well, we're super excited to have you. Super excited to show you inside of our store, man. If you're ready, I hope you need some new tools. We'll go ahead and just get right to it. Get shopping. Let's do it. I'm excited. All right, let's go. Well, man, welcome inside. What do you think of the store so far? Dope, man. Beautiful concept. Love that wall of Clippers. Yeah. Real cool, cool, man. What is it that you love about the wall? It's Clippers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's how I make my money. You know, just seeing that, to me, it's like a work of art. Our goal was kind of to allow barbers to, you know, feel the Clippers in your hand. So we're giving barbers the opportunity to kind of experience that before they actually spend their hard-earned money. How long have you been cutting here? All in all, 24 years. 24 years? 24 years I've been wow. in the game, yeah. So you've been in the game for a while, is there? 99, 99 yeah. 2000. As long as you've been cutting hair, you're more of an artist. You're, you call yourself a hair artist. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of designs, a lot of color work. Uh, would you say that as a child you were very artistic? Did you draw a lot? Yeah, that, that, that had a lot to do with it. I was always an artist. I, a lot of people don't know I used to do tattoos. The one thing that was really kind of getting me out of the struggle was cutting hair. That was how I was making my money. But what made yeah. it fun was involving the artistic side of me with cutting hair. I never really right. just focused on what was in today. I've always been more about innovating, very which is crazy. Cool. Yeah, very interesting. You have a visionary mind, it seems right. like. What's the reason that you didn't tattoo and you chose barbering? Because at the time, it was what's making me the most money now and what's going to be quicker. If I tattoo you for the first time, one of the odds that I'm going to see you again? How soon, yeah, right? Yeah. Sometimes people may never come back, and if you do, it might be a year from now, two years from now, whenever you're ready. But a haircut with somebody was always a thing where I got to see somebody every week or every two weeks, so it was more yeah. consistent. Yeah. And it was easier to convince people to get a haircut than it was to get a tattoo. Right. Even right. though, do I think if I would have stuck to tattooing 10, 20 years from now, I would have been a great tattoo artist mm -hmm. and with a lot of money and clients and all that? Probably. Yeah. But I also like to think that anything that I like to get myself into, I'm going to be good at to that point where I can succeed in it. Yeah, it's a residual success. Exactly. Well, you've come a long way Thanks. in the barber industry so far, man. What's something you kind of want to do uh, in the industry or, you know, put the lowest kind of stamp on it? My goal is to always stay relevant, but at the same time, you have to understand what, what goes up must come down. You know what I mean? Not everything's gonna stay good forever. If I can pick up as much information for myself these next five years, and in my 40s, give back to the industry, give back by doing classes, developing a brand that could be like a low cut educational thing. Just giving back to the community. Honestly, I've always been a big believer by giving back, more is gonna come to you. All right, so we can tell that education is very important to you, which is something we're gonna talk about more as we move through these walls. So are you ready just to get right to it? Absolutely, man. Right. I, need, I need some new clips. Let's just get shopping, bro. Let's go. without first stopping at one of our accessory walls. It's the level three wall. Oh, you were actually the very first level three ambassador. It's awesome that you say that because once again, you know, just a few years back when they finally rebranded into level three, I didn't jump onto a big company that already had a wave. Mm -hmm. We had to put that message out there and really make it to what it is now. Yeah. And it's only been out for at least two and a half years. And in two and a half years, the fact that you guys got a whole shelf covered in level three means a mm -hmm. lot. I think 
once again, level three is a part of the whole for barbers by barbers. From the inside looking out, what is one thing that you guys really focus on to differentiate yourself among all the other accessory companies that, you know, are trying to keep us well stocked for our day to day work? They just have a variety of things. I think a lot of other companies that I see out there have maybe their top three, their top two products, but level three caters to a variety of people. I mean, from your tinted gel, right? Mm -hmm. If someone's insecure about having gray hair, you can recommend a tinted gel that'll cover the grays up. You know, the slime gel for kids is a great way to, to kind of show them how to style their own hair and play with the slime. All right, well, you being such a creative, you know, such a colorist, such an artist, do you think that you take any credit for, you know, the beautiful aesthetic and the design that you guys have done with Level 3 here? Absolutely not. I got to give that credit to my brother Cheddar, who is the designer for all these looks. He yeah, literally did all that, and he's just... You know, like us, he's a creator, he's an artist. Kind of saw what was in today, and mm -hmm. this is what we got. I think that that's one of the best parts about Level 3, actually, as a company. It's just off the rip. It's so eye-catching. Um, the aesthetic is there. Everybody wants to have Level 3 products on their station simply just because of the look. And then we don't even talk about how amazing the products themselves are. Right. What would you say your favorite product is that we are oh, showcasing here? The best thing that ever happened to the hair industry, man, the clear shave gel. Okay. That right here is what changed the game 10 years ago. It was always about the lather and the right. shaving cream. And the reason why this broke out and became such a hit because for the first time in history, you were finally able to see what you were shaving. Okay. And if you're someone that's in the industry and you're shaving someone that has a beard and finally wants to take it off, who's to say they don't have a mole on their chin? Yeah. Right? And a lot of people won't speak on it. This is why it's important to analyze your skin. Okay. If you're able to see what you're shaving by applying a clear shave gel, it makes it easier to be careful when you're around bumps and see exactly mm. what you're doing. Absolutely. Well, that makes a ton of sense, man. I appreciate your time sharing your heart a little bit about Level 3. So let's just get right into the fun. Let's get to our signature clipper wall. Let's do it. Let's do it. Footloose in my brand new shoes. All my moves need camera crews. I glad I float now watching crews. Top down. All right, we made it to our signature clipper wall. You've been cutting hair for 24 years now. A lot of these weren't around, so I got to ask, Absolutely. what did you use to start your career. So the fast feeds, the classic 76s, the masters, and a wall clip was a must okay. growing when I started off. Classics, classics. Have you used any of these other clippers on the wall? And a lot of these clippers I've never seen before. Really? I got my main focus right here. Right here on Babyliss. About, yeah. So was Babyliss the first brand that reached out to you? One of the major things that I actually want to point out is that I'm kind of glad I started with Babyliss because I didn't get to jump on a wave. If I felt like if I would have maybe joined the wall team, wall was already a main clipper and people knew what wall was. So I would have been jumping on right. their wave. Same thing with Andes and Oster. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of cool to start with a company that no one knew. Yeah. And because Babel is real big on four barbers, by barbers, yeah. a lot of the things that they were able to develop came from the opinions that the educators and the team had. Who and what Babel is today has a lot to do with me, with yeah. Sophie, and all the other educators. That's cool. So you've been able to make a personal loss kind of impact on the brand of Babyliss. Yeah, it's insane. I'm, I'm, to this day, I'm still like, well, I have my own clipper trimmer. You were, you know, paving a way with the company, right. growing alongside them, and they saw that they were watching that creativity, you know, exactly. as you develop. I kind of just want to talk specifically about this clipper a little bit. Um, first off, the colorway is crazy. Yeah. Is black and red your favorite color? How, how did you get your color? Like when they first told us about the influencer edition, they gave us a survey with a bunch of questions. They had an artist that did actual Marvel drawings for yeah. movies and all that. That same artist was the one that was asking us questions about wow, who cool. we are, what are we into, and based off all those answers, he was able to create, you guys pay attention to the low cut trimmer, yeah. it came with a box that was customized. Why each person chose their colorway. So okay. it was really personal. It yeah. wasn't like they just picked random colors for us. Frank was able to pick purple because of the barber pole. The red, the blue, and the white. If you yeah. mix all those three, you get purple. Especially oh, wow. if you mix red and blue, you get purple. Patty Cuss chose green simply because he's Irish. And a lot of people think it's black and red. Yeah. It's black with a hint of red. It goes with the same thing with my tattoos. I, I get tatted up and everything's all black with hints of red. All right, so Babyliss is really killing the game, you know, differentiating themselves in the market. Tell me a little bit about, you know, all these brand new products are dropping, you know, this brand new matte black Babyliss Boost just dropped. Can you just speak on how Babyliss is differentiating themselves from these other clipper companies? Um, I never really noticed any changes in, in the clippers. I mean, right. the, the liners were always the same, the clippers were always the same, and it wasn't until Babyliss came out and they started really innovating. And I strongly feel like a lot of these companies come up with these different colorways and these different looks because the way that Babyliss came and took the industry by storm yeah. in just a matter of 
what is enough? Seven years? Mm -hmm. So in a matter of seven years, I feel like Babyliss was able to pull off such an impactful thing that it was able to be labeled top clipper company along with companies like Vol and Nandis in such a yeah. short time where a lot of these other companies had about 80, 90 years, 100 years. People ask, why does Babyliss always keep dropping new stuff? I can't keep up with them. I can't keep up with them. But the reality, they're not dropping new stuff all the time for you to buy all the clippers. They're dropping new stuff all the time to reach each individual wow. that's in the hair industry, whether you're a hairstylist and you prefer a lever down the middle. I feel like Babel is just really focuses on not just one individual, not just one person, but the entire industry from professionals and people that are just starting off like students. All right, man, well, we are here to shop. So I know that your station might be a little dry these days. There's a reason you came all the way to Dallas to go shopping at the Barber Plug. So is there any new clippers, you know, that just dropped from Babylist that, you know, you'd like to have? I don't have the metallic blues. Okay. I asked for these specifically, and they had they only had a few and they gave them out already, so I, they literally had nothing for me. It was okay because I get a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. I don't have those, so I definitely want these. I gotta give okay. me a pair of the Lowe's Cut It. Add another Lowe's um, Cut It to the and collection. And because our influencer clipper, each barber that was a part of it only got their clipper. Right. So I don't have a Frank and I don't have a Patty, so okay. I definitely need both of these. Another Frank and, and You can't Patty. go wrong with a Low Pro. I need another Low Pro. Low Pro, all right. I mean, you know what? What do we got right now? One, two, three, three four, four, five. five. Let me get one of these. But I also want to pick up a couple things that I do already have and maybe go find a school in Chicago and give away to a student or something. Oh, just out awesome. of love, you know? Yeah, so you balled out out of a ton of clippers to your station. If you don't need anything else, let's go ahead and just get right over to our signature trimmer wall. <laughs> Here we are in front of our signature trimmer wall. Before Babyliss, did you use any other trimmer brands? Yeah, I was a big fan of the wall detailers. Wall detailers? Oh yeah. Okay. Has it been a long time since you used those? Yeah, as soon as I started working with Babyliss, it was a wrap. Once we started working with them, they started listening to us and what we liked and what we didn't like, and then now the trimmers that they had, they are phenomenal. So you're not even really familiar with any of these? I look at these and a lot of these look foreign, and I know a lot of people probably think, you know, those at his caliber, he should know everything, and in reality, yeah. I do feel like a clipper or a trimmer shouldn't do the job for you, should make the job easier for you. Mm. Honestly, all I need personally are these low pros and maybe this murdered out okay. with a DLC blade and I'm happy. I'm okay, happy. so you're pretty tunnel vision on baby this it sounds like. My job is to focus on what we have and how can we shine with okay. using these tools. Okay, well speaking of artistry, I mean you do a lot of designs, a lot of line work. Yeah. Is there a specific trimmer that you just love to do uh, designs with? Oh yeah, low pros. Low, low pros. Pro? It's just such a smaller clipper. I mean, you can see it's a lot smaller than the rest. It fits, it's easier to maneuver around your hand. Um, I love the fact that, you know, the 360 on the blade, it allows you to see all angles and I'm real big on using the corner so yeah overall I gotta see the low pros. Okay, so do you adjust your blades when you get new trimmers? I do, yeah, for the most yeah. part. A lot of the times they already come zero gap, they're ready to use it right off the box. But you know, if you're a real barber, you always yeah. gotta have that, you gotta add that little kiss, that touch. Now, do you ever sharpen them? No. No? No, have never to? at all. I don't, I don't think I've sharpened one bit with this clipper. Interesting, okay, awesome. Well, like we said last time, you know, you probably have everything you need, but is there any new trimmers that you just gotta have these days? Definitely the murdered out. I murdered gotta out take those. Blues. All these are awesome, but I'm gonna have to take two low pros. Two low pros? Rock one stock one, you know what I mean? All right. I like having one here just on display ready to go and one that I can take on tour. Yeah, I mean, baby, this, the aesthetic, they're killing it too. They're some of the prettiest clippers probably on the market. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Before we move over to our shaver wall, you know, there's one thing I just want to bring to your mind. You know, you're very knowledgeable. Uh, you've had a lot of experience using Babyliss. So I just kind of want to attack this brand new Stylecraft. So just by feeling this, kind of what's your opinion? And, you know, maybe there's something that you can, you know, give Stylecraft some props for, or maybe okay. not. Just kind of want to hear your opinion. Um, they're trying to do something new in the game. I mean, it feels okay in my hand. It's a different feel from what I'm used to. Yeah. In reality, I have to actually use them and see how right. they cut for me to actually give an honest opinion. But let me ask you, what's your opinion on these? Me personally, I think they're amazing. I think what Stylecraft has been doing in the game has been, you know, pretty outstanding. I think that they're inspired a lot by Babyliss. Uh, you know, the aesthetic is becoming a really big uh, part of our barbers' lives, right. you know. Um, I will say I've used this Sabre quite a bit and the Sabre is just as powerful. But the only other thing I'll say that I like about it is the size. It kind of makes your job a little easier you know, nice. lighter on your wrist, yeah. lighter on your elbow. So I think they've done a really good job. They just dropped and they're flying off the shelves. So right. quite simply, plug, we went ahead and added a matte black boost. We added two low pros. And if Los is done shopping, if he doesn't need any more trimmers, we're just gonna get right over here to our signature shaver wall. Oh yeah, let's go. OK, 
Okay, so we're at our signature foil shaver wall. Topic of discussion, sometimes some people shave, you know, right after the first guideline. Some people like to do it at the end of the cut. So for a low cut it bald fade, when do you use the foil shaver? A true, a true bald fade. A shaver should be used at the very beginning. You ever got a haircut and feel like, oh, I yeah. don't feel fresh? A shaver in the beginning for a low cut it bald fade, not only is it gonna make the haircut last longer, you're taking the hardest part and the hardest step out the way immediately. Yep, and that's what's allowing for that smooth transition for the blurriest fade, exactly. right? So out of all these shavers on the wall, are you strictly babyless or have you dabbled with any other, you know, Andy's, you know, we gotta say, you didn't start your barber career with Andy's, you're not a barber. Yeah, yeah, so. no, I actually started with these exact ones right here. Yeah. When, yeah. when those came out, I was using those and... Yeah, I think um, we all did. They're real light on your hand too. Classic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so nowadays, you know, what are you using on, on your station every day? Oh, of course, babyliss. I mean, there's a reason why they're at the bottom, you know? Why don't you tell us that? The reason why they're at the bottom? I mean, it's just because of the weight, man. It's These such are a heavy, sturdy. so powerful. Yes. The quality is crazy. So when you grab a shaver, you feel the yeah. quality in it, right? It, Compared to if I would grab something else, it'd be a lot lighter, a lot more flimsier. Yeah. So just having this babyliss Shaver is just such a sturdier feel. You gotta do less work. And you do less work. We always need new foils and you know, the foils, sometimes you gotta change new foils. So yeah. are you in need of some new foils right now? We're always in need of new foils. It's like we? asking me, do I need razor blades? Are we, we always need razor blades. So yeah, if you guys got the foils separately, I gotta take a few of those for sure. Okay, so what's your favorite color? Cause baby, this always come in with the aesthetics and we got options. All right, so I love the rose gold. This is actually the first time I grabbed it earlier and I was like, ooh, it looks good. It feels good in my yeah. hand. So let me get a rose gold. Okay, plug. And let me get a, a black gold. One. A rose and gold need, and a black shaver plug. And then I'm going to need three, three heads. Three heads. Three yeah. heads of each? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now uh, we got a black, we got a rose gold, three heads. Is there any other shaver? Like, I mean, so let's just get here real quick. <laughs> Same concept, a little bit smaller. You have a charging cord in it. Um, have you had a chance to use these, feel these, play with these? Never. Never. Um, light right off the bat, and I can see why people will like this. Just the fact that it's so compact and small, yeah. and I can tell it's probably easier to get around, especially for mm. Cosmos that don't use razor blade. Right. It'd be a great for the mustache and all that. So I know you want one, right? No, definitely not. I'm, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm alright. Right. I'm alright. I'm alright. Right. I'm well, happy. Let me shift your vision to the wall, brand new Vanish shaver. Uh, this just dropped, so just get a little perspective. You know how you feel about this shaver? Oh, it looks cool. It feels a lot different than this one. Yeah. This is what I'm used to right here too, right? Yeah. This feel, it's a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. These feel a lot more sturdier. Cool clipper. I mean, I like they got the, okay, the ridges in the back. Gives you a little bit of that weight, mm -hmm. like Babyliss. It does. You said it like Babyliss, but not Babyliss. <laughs> I'm gonna put these back and I'm okay. gonna stick to my uh, all black. Real okay. cool design though, I gotta say. A lot of these companies, I'm, I'm sure, like I said, there's a barber, there's stylist for every single tool up here. But for me, today, we're gonna stick to the bottom row. Okay, say less. Well, we're done shopping at the Clipper walls, so let's head on over to one of our accessory cool. walls. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so this is our final stop. It's one of our accessory walls. Is there anything that's catching your eye just off the bat? A lot of these things are essential things to have. I see that you guys pulled out the, what is it, comb brush? You've never seen this before? Never seen that before. Yeah, let's go ahead and just show the, the people. Yeah, it's a signature barber plug brush comb. Ooh. What do you think about that? Yeah, these are nice. I'm definitely gonna need a few of these. These are definitely right. a must. I mean, you could literally brush on one end, flip it, and start combing. Crazy, that's right? That's pretty cool. Definitely love need love that. It. We'll add a few of these. Okay, I'll take these off the wall. Let's talk about the baby's backpack a little bit. Oh, man. Uh, what, you know, it's changing the game. Plenty your room, got more pockets than you can even imagine. Yes. Kind of, uh, where did that concept come from? I just started using this. I take this when I travel everywhere, not just mm -hmm. house calls, not just to cut hair. Like when I'm actually traveling, like right. I'm here in Dallas, I brought it with me. I got my laptop, all my utensils. It's definitely a must. If you have any extras, I definitely want to take okay. one of these Yeah, for sure. I mean, this, we'll go ahead and grab this one, no awesome. problem. Oof. Okay, being a Babyliss ambassador, one thing I do want to get your perspective on is these premium trimmer guards. You know, it's pretty cool because they're guards you can actually just put on your FX trimmer. I've actually taught some of my clients how to do their own beard with these. I mean, is that where the concept came from? Or? Uh, usually Babyliss doesn't bring anything out to light that isn't already been asked for. Coming from someone in my background has never had guards for their trimmers, it's not necessarily something that I would use for myself, but mm -hmm. what you did is, you did say you trained your own client to groom his own beard using trimmer guards. Exactly. Which is a safer way to not just sell the clipper or the trimmer, but you can sell the guards for them as well. Right. I think that's a great idea. It's a great way to um, educate your clients on how to do their own grooming. Mm -hmm. The new wave of barbers might enjoy guards for the trimmers. This is not something that I was used to. Yeah, you got a bunch of trimmers, so do you need more blades? Yeah, I should need a couple blades back here. All right, let's look uh, at them. Let's see what we got. Uh, what is your favorite Babyliss blade? Because you got the DLC, the Gold FX 2.0, Graphite. 
you know. Yeah, my two favorite blades are the DLC and the Graphite 2.0. Okay. Which are amazing, especially when you're carving the designs and working on great detail. So we're gonna add some Graphites and DLCs? Yes, let's take sure. two of those for sure. Uh, you already got some brushes. Do you need any new essential grippers? Hold up of that Of course, hair. you can never have enough of those. They're like clips, right? Right. You can never have enough clips, so I'll take a few of those. A few of these, okay, cool. And cool, throw in yeah. some Babyliss in there while we're at it. Some Babyliss guys too. Gotta represent. Gotta represent, okay, well. Um, that's gonna wrap it up. If you don't need anything else from this accessory wall, we'll go ahead and get you checked out, man. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Well, that's gonna wrap up our shopping experience. I really appreciate your time. Now, I don't wanna let you leave without telling us about this headquarters Chicago that you've created. Kinda tell us about what it was that inspired you to create something, such a dope experience, such a dope environment for um, yourself and other people to use, right? Yeah, thank you. The inspiration just simply came off the necessity of what I needed to go in this industry, right? Yeah. When we were at a barber shop, it was always hard to find private time or alone time to create this content. Well, what would you tell a barber who is trying to do what Los Cut It has done, you know, form partnerships with the biggest brands in the industry mm -hmm. and also, you know, form a creative studio like you've done? Uh, what would you tell that barber who just desires more for the industry? Just stay true to yourself. And what right. you can do is you can learn from your idols, learn mm -hmm. from your heroes, and put your own twist. Mm -hmm. By you being you and true to yourself, today might not be your time but in the next five years you might be the next best thing beautiful awesome bro cool, well i really course. appreciate your time bro it's been an honor shopping with you Dope. i'm gonna hand you off to the plug get you checked out i hope that you didn't do too much damage Oof. but regardless bro it's been a pleasure and you take it easy next time i, I see you of course thank you for having me here. all right bro so sure. hey los appreciate you coming through you. it's always a pleasure to have the goat come out appreciate it for sure i got everything totaled up for you today yeah let me know what's the damage this is 2000 861. Like doing, I said, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it in good use. So let's do it. Scan right here. All right. All good. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. You need some help Appreciate taking that stuff out? Of course. Let me get your security over here, man. Give me yeah. a hand. Can you come grab this stuff? Awesome. Hey, be safe on the road, brother. Sure. Let's go. Right.